Well, good morning. How's everybody today? Well, I'm in this little workshop here. My dad's old steel workbench from way back. Uh, it's gonna be a hot one today. I'm gonna do some gardening. I'm gonna do a few little things like that, and then maybe we'll find ourselves in the studio doing something. Uh, I'm gonna work on some CAD, computer-aided design files, for a belt buckle I'm working on, so that'll be pretty cool. This uh, this container here, it's an old truck body. Just like a little workshop, okay. I mean, it's for, this is for farm equipment. So what am I working on today? That's loose. So, you know, you're gonna have, I got a nice snap on tool, tool chest here, got all sorts of tools that go up here. Let's do this. Remember the right tool for the right job, right? That was starting to strip. That was starting to strip with the, uh, with the, uh, hmm. Maybe I'll move you guys in a little bit. That nut was starting to uh, to strip a little bit with the with the um, crescent wrench. So what's going on here? Why is that uh, loosening up? Oh, something's loose on the other side. There must be an adjustment nut on the other side. There's a box there, so what's going on? Let's take this off. Oh, I see where it is. Let's, uh, let's put that back. She just brought out the metric tool kit. I know it's around here somewhere, but uh, crescent wrenches. Okay, we don't want to wreck that. That's tight enough. Chain bar oil. I know the chain bar oil is working because I filled it up three times already. That's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this with me on the uh, on the trailer. See, I've got a quad. Uh, you can't have a piece of property like this without. <clears throat> I think I've said this enough times in my videos. You got to be a little bit of an engine guru uh, if you're gonna have a property in this this way, right? Where you're doing all the work yourself. Um, let me just spin this around. I got a bobcat here. I got a lawnmower there. I've got that thing in the corner there. You've seen that white, that white uh, box on wheels with a uh, with a little turbine on the front. Oh, hey you guys, hey! They're just running right by. Uh, Pippi Tippi Tia and Jack. Uh, but that's a, a vacuum a vacuum cleaner, vacuum cleaner. So it hooks up to the John Deere or your ride a mower. And then, uh, and then um, it's got a five horsepower Briggs and Stratton on it, and it runs the turbine. And then, so it, it'll just vacuum things up. We've used it, like in the fall, I usually kind of hook it up because there's lots of leaves and stuff like that. But today I'm gonna run the Bobcat uh, up alongside the slough, and we're gonna cut a few trees down there. Uh, we're going to get our safety gear, our hat, our glasses, stuff like that. And let's head out there. And I'll tell you a little bit more about the farm. And then, like, you got to have tools. you got to have equipment. You know, if you're running it like this, if, you, if you've if you got um, you've got a gardener coming in and all the rest of that, uh, it, it's a huge cost finding yourself a gardener to manage a two-acre piece of property. Um, that's not why I bought the piece of property. Me and my wife are, are the Italian. We just love the place and we love doing the work. Gives me a purpose, gives me something to do. Anyways, you guys, uh, like I say, let's get over to the slough because uh, there's one part of the slough where a branch fell down or broke and I want to trim that up and then we're going to run the bobcat up and down there a little and bit. And like, I'm repeating myself and so I'm going to edit this. 
There's a lot goes into the editing, you guys. Um, I think I might have said this a couple videos back. For for the 20 minute videos that I do, it takes about two hours to edit them. Right by the time you load them into a movie maker, and then you load the sound, and you go back and forth, and you cut all these bits out and everything like that, it takes a while. So so there's some po really positive, uh, real positive uh, uh, response from you guys. I really appreciate really something. Right, I've got. Uh, 26 and a half thousand subscribers now uh, and I, I and I appreciate it so I'm trying hard for you guys if there's something you'd like to see I know sometimes I'm a little bit all over the place it's Frank the jeweler it's not Frank's always making jewelry it's it's uh, it's uh, maybe I should call it uh, what would Frank do okay uh, like I say if you like what I'm doing hit the subscribe button hit the like button make a comment the algorithm likes it and I'll try to keep up the good work. All right, guys, see you over at the slough.
Okay, you guys. I don't know if that's gonna be enough bobcatting, but uh, this is a slough here. It takes a lot of the water off of Burke Mountain. I'm not pushing anything into it. I'm just putting it to the edge. So nobody's gonna, I don't want anybody complaining. Uh, if you see something you think I done wrong, you know what, that's what the comments are for. Say something. It's a nice little bobcat. The thing is, there's the, there's the homestead, okay? This has to be cleaned up. If you don't clean this blackberries up next year, they'd be like 10 feet high. And so they'd be no good. Picked up that much. So let's take a look in on the chickens and then we'll see what else we're gonna do today. We see how nicely this gets cleaned up. Chickens behind me. Hi girls. Where's the boss? There he is right there. Oh, he's a nasty one. Uh, the glasses got busted in my pocket. So I don't know, they're not fitting too well. Okay, you guys, uh, so you can see, you know, we come out here, right? There's a gate. There's a gate, we come out here, we hang out here sometimes. We bring a nice cold drink with us. And, uh, okay, so let's figure out what we're doing. Okay, so what I was telling you, that's like the T of the slough right there. Oh, what's that? Oh, my goodness, it must be, must be three o'clock somewhere. Okay, so you just look way down there. Look, there's the bobcat. So we've got this all cleaned up. I'm happy with this. And then we decided to have a little break and Hello. then, cheers. Yes, cheers. Cheers. So tell us a little story about the buttercups though. See this field here has got lots of buttercups and there's horses in there. So why are the buttercups growing and the grass is gone? Ah. Mm -hmm. And the more you mow a buttercup, the more they'll grow. Ah. So the best way is to either do something that will be inert if you're going to use a pasture product, uh -huh. or to hand dig them. And as you can see over there, hand digging would not be sufficient. So what would happen if you took a lawnmower and cut them? Like right now they'll before propagate. they're gone to seed? They'll just propagate. They'll just propagate. They so propagate. if we kill, if you, if you mowed them and killed them off now, would the grass not grow back instead of the buttercups? We don't. You would, have to, you would have to put, and you cannot get it here. I think it's called M10 or something. You cannot get it in Canada. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> M10. Something, something like Soylent that. Soylent green. It's something that you could put on the pasture, that, but I'm not too sure. Possibly you could get something, but it's two weeks. The horses can't be anywhere near the pasture. Oh. So it has yeah, he to. can't. He, I don't think he can go that long without. Uh, yeah, without. I don't think uh, he can go that long in the pasture without. Uh, Without this pasture, he's going to wait too many horses.
so I don't think there's much more I can show in this video. It's going to be long enough. I, I, oh, wait a second. The dogs are here. Hey, Eva, Eva. Hi, sweetie. Look at that. The girls are here. Eva and uh, Tippy. And uh, where'd Tippy go? Plug a Pippi! The Pippinator. Okay, so what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. So I'm going to try to put this video together. Is that you, Jack? 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 I had the dogs in the kennel up at the house, so they weren't getting under my uh, wheels. Okay, so that's, that's that in a nutshell. That's uh, yard maintenance at a, at a, jewel, at a jewelry studio, <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, you guys, uh, the dogs are doing good. We're all doing good. Look at, look at that. It's just beautiful out. Just beautiful out. Uh, I'm going to enjoy myself a little bit, and uh, you have a great day. Okay, so this is the end of the day. We kind of took the horses for a walk down at the slough, the area we cleaned up, and the Italian, she's got Ryder out. You know what, you guys? Okay, well, off she goes for maintenance. I sure. Go for a little tune up. There we go. All friends at uh, MWL Demolition. They got a big shop. They're going to take care of this for me, I, and I sure appreciate it. Look at that. <sighs> Boy, right piece of equipment for the right job, eh? There she goes. Okay, so yeah, the clearing, the bobcat, all that type of stuff. Well, here's the next day. And look who's making great use of this cleared area. Look at the boss. Look at the boss right down there. That's him there. I gotta carry the stick. Walk softly, carry a big stick. If he gets out of line, sometimes he attacks you from behind. Okay, but you see, you know what? It's a great space. You know, I only have two acres, so you gotta make the best use of all the space. It's not like the guy across the road here, he's got 17 acres, he can let th things go. But at two acres and you got chickens and everything else, you gotta, you gotta kinda be on your game. You gotta make, you gotta make all the spaces work. Okay, you guys. Um, that truly is it, that's truly it. I sent the Bobcat out for some maintenance, well needed maintenance. And uh, like I say, that this is gonna be, this is it for the Bobcat video. Okay, you guys have a great day. If you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, make a comment, tell me something, say something. All right, you guys have a great day.